Okay, good day everyone. Welcome back to our home economics online class. Okay, so we are now in module 4, quarter 1, week 5, dress making a. I am Miss Mary and Fonte, your teacher for today. Okay, so our lesson 1 is all about machine operation and maintenance. Okay, so but before we proceed or before we start our new lesson this morning, let's have a pretest first. So let us check if what you have already know. So direction, choose the letter of the correct answer. Okay, number one, question. A good practice of cleaning and lubricating the sewing machine is A. Every two weeks. B, once a week, C, once a month, D, twice a week. Okay, so the correct answer is letter D, twice a week. Okay, next, number two, the cleaning material that maintains moving parts of a sewing machine in smooth operation is A, absorbent, absorbent cloth, B, lint brush, C, lubricant, D, water. So the correct answer is letter C, lubricant. Okay, number three, the correct cloth used in wiping spilled oils during cleaning is A, damp cloth, B, dry cloth, C, oiled cloth, D, any of the above. So the correct answer in number four is letter B, dry cloth. Next, number five, the oil that lubricates and gives the machine longer life. Is it A, baby oil, B, coconut oil, C, crude oil, D, machine oil? So the correct answer in number five is letter D, machine oil. Okay, next, number six, the part of the sewing machine that controls the stroke of the feed dog is A, face plate, B, feed dog, C, slide packer, D, stitch regulator. So, the correct answer in number six is, okay, letter D, stitch regulator. Next, number seven. A machine problem where there is incorrect size of needle or thread is A. Fabric jumps B. Needle break C. Seam packer D. Skip stitches The correct answer in number 7 is Seam packer Next, number 8 The part of the sewing machine that controls the looseness and tightness of the stitches is a. Bobbin, B. Presser foot, C. Thread guide, D. Tension control. The correct answer is letter D. Tension control. Next, number 9. The control of sewing machine lies on your A. Balance sheet, B. Band wheel, C. Feet, D. Threadle. The correct answer is letter C because the control of our sewing machine lies on our feet. Next, number 10, the upper part of the sewing machine head being driven by hand when, when starting the machine is A. Balance sheet, B. Hand wheel, C. Stop motion screw, D. Threadle. The correct answer is letter B. Hand wheel. <clears throat> okay, next, number 11. Does the sewing machine and put a little amount in slot? A. Oil. B. Fabric. C. Dust. D. Tension. The correct answer is letter A. Oil. Next, number 12. The stitches operate the same on both right and wrong sides. The stitches appear the same on both right and wrong sides. A. Water. B. Fabric. C. Cotton. D. Oil. Okay, the correct answer is letter B. Fabric. 13. The tension controls the thread from the needle is A. Upper. B. Lower, C. Stitches, D. Babin case. The correct answer is letter A. Upper tension. Next, number 14. 
properly attached will make your work without any trouble. A. Fabric B. Needle C. Needle clamp D. Throat plate The correct answer is needle. Then, the last one, number 15. Start sewing machine operation with the right blank. A. Book B. Tools and supplies C. Machine D. Needle The correct answer is letter B. Tools and supplies. Okay, here are the standard for sewing machine operations. So, number one, start with the right tools and supplies. Have your needle, thread, screwdriver, pins, and scissors ready for use. Second, always maintain good working posture. Sit on your back slightly leaning forward. It can prevent body pains after working on your machine. Next, number three, Thread the sewing machine correctly. You can follow the guidebook if you have. This will save your time to get a correct threading. Okay, next, number four. Be sure that the needle is properly set according to the directions for a specific models. A properly attached needle will make your work without any trouble. Next, number five, set the stitch regulator according to project specifications and test the stitches for possible adjustment. Next, number six, check tension dials and adjust according to project requirement for of the stitches. Okay, next, number seven, turn power off, especially if our machine is motorized or electric when the sewing machine is not in use. This will save electricity and avoid possible minor accident. Next, number eight, keep sewing tools. Dust the sewing machine, then put a little amount of machine oil in slots. This will make the sewing machine available for the next user. So note, the control of sewing machine lies on your feet, not in your hand. So learn to start and stop the sewing machine instantly at a given point using this control. Next, threading the machine. So, paano nga ba maglagay ng uh, thread sa ating sewing machine? So, meron po tayong... Uh, thread sa taas ng ating sewing machine and then meron pa rin po tayo sa baba. So, paano nga daw? So, narito ang ating mga step on how to thread in the upper part of our sewing machine. So, the parts and the steps. So, number one is the spool pin. So, the step number one, put the spool of thread on the spool pin. Second, the second part is the upper thread guide. So, you have to bring the thread to the thread guide. Number three parts between metal disc of tension. So, the steps. Number three, pull the thread between the metal disc of the tension. Next, the thread take up lever. Bring the thread take up to the thread take up lever and raise it as it goes. Number five is the lower thread guide. Pull the thread down to the thread guide. Six, the needle, pull it through the lower thread guide. And then the last one is you have to insert the thread into the needle. Okay, next, threading the lower part of lock stitch sewing machine or threadle sewing machine. So, here are the steps on how to thread the lower part. First, remove the bobbin case by pulling on the bobbin case latch. Second, remove the bobbin from the case and wind the thread. Put the bobbin back to the bobbin case and pull the thread through the little slot at least 4 inches. Number 4, be sure that you hear the bobbin case inside the shuttle. 5. Start the mechanism by rolling the balance wheel forward to get the thread of the bobbin through the needle. And then number 6. Pull the upper and lower thread together by 4 inches.
Okay, next, how to adjust tension on the needle thread. Lower the pressure foot. Turn in small thumb, not at the front of the tension disc, to the left counterclockwise to decrease the tension. Number three, correcting a loose bottom stitch. When the needle tension is too close, the thread will lie along the underside of the material. Lower the pressure foot, so you need to check to make sure that the thread is between the tension disc, and then you have to turn the small thumb knot at the front of the tension disc clockwise to increase the tension. Okay, next, how to correct a loose bobbin thread. So, first, tighten the tension. Second, turn the regulating screw in the tension spring to the right. Then, test the tension. Thread the bobbin case. Hold the end of the thread and allow the case to hang freely. And then, you have to check the st st stitch on pieces of the scrap material. Next, how to regulate the length of the stitch. It was regulated by the stitch regulator on the front side of the head. So you have to move the stitch regulator downward to lengthen the stitch. Then you have to move the stitch regulator upward to shorten the stitch. Check the length of stitch on pieces of scrap material. So note, for normal stitching, set the regulator at 10 to 12 stitches per inch or at the number 3 for metric scale machines. Okay, next, common sewing machine troubles. So, mahalaga na malaman po natin yung mga uh, magiging problema ng ating makina. So, in case palang araw, tayo po ay isang uh, maging mananahi. So, alam natin kung ano yung magiging problema, ano yung mga magiging uh, or yung mga naging dahilan or ano yung mga uh, remedies or pwede nating uh, gawin. So, narito po ang ating mga machine troubles, the causes and the remedies. So, the first one is the machine runs noisily. So, bakit nga ba maingay? Minsan, ang makina na panahian. So, the causes of machine runs noisily are uh, because of insufficient oil, loose screw, and thread or dust clogged in the shutter rays. So, what will we do if a uh, machine runs noisily? Ay mangyari sa atin. So, the remedies is we have to oil the sewing machine, we have to tighten loose screw, and clean the shutter rays before oiling. Then, the second machine trouble is machine rotates heavily. So, bakit nga ba nagiging uh, uh, ma, uh, heavy, mabigat, or mahirap natin ma rotates minsan yung balance uh, wheel na yan. So, what are the causes? Too tight belt, insufficient oil, bearings or shuttle rays is clogged with dust or Thread. So, the remedies for machine rotates heavily is change belt if already old, oil the arm shaft, clean the shuttle rays, and bearing then oil. Okay, another machine trouble is needle thread breaks. So, the causes because of improper threading tight tension, thread to course, needle blend set incorrectly, pressure foot not properly adjusted, poor quality thread, seam may be too thick or heavy, bobbin case torns, fabric is pulled uh, forcibly, needle may be bent, size of needle or the tension. So those are the causes of needle thread breaks. So uh, the remedies are, so check the threading, change the texture of thread, and attach the needle properly to the needle bar. Next, use correct presser foot. Check if presser foot is secured and properly fastened. Then, 
if seam is too heavy, change needle to correct size. Check the position of the bobbin case. Reset the shuttle race assembly and then change the bent needle. And then the last one, to avoid needle bending, pull upper and lower threads toward the rear of the presser foot after stitching and cut the threads. Okay, so another uh, causes or the rem remedies of the needle thread breaks are don't force the fabric, just guide it. And then change the size of needle and then adjust the tension. Then the fourth one, the fourth uh, machine trouble is stitches skip. So uh, the causes of this are bent needle, dull needle, or wrongly attached needle. And then, unmatched size of needle or threader to the texture of fabric. No enough pressure in the presser foot. Threading may be incorrect also. So, the remedies, change the needle or correct positioning, change needle size and thread, and then increase pressure on the presser foot, and then check the threading. Next is the stitches look. So, the causes, dull needle, improper threading, and balance tension of the upper and lower threads, and defective thread takes up lower. So, the remedies, use blunt needle, check the threading, if loops appear under the fabric, check the upper threading, adjust the upper tension regulator if the loops appear on top of the fabric. Check the lower threading. The thread may be inserted in the tensions group of the bobbin. Check also the latch spring of the bobbin case. Balance the tension of both threads. And then change the thread take up lever spring. Next, number six is the upper thread break. So the causes is are improper threading, improperly attached needle, bent or dull needle, tight upper thread, poor quality thread, and in much needle. So the remedies, correct threading, attach the needle correctly, change to blunt needle, reset the upper tension regulator, and use good quality thread in thread size or texture. Number seven is the lower or under thread breaks. So the causes is or the causes of lower or under thread breaks are improper winding of the thread in the bobbin, bent or dull needle, poor quality thread, incorrectly set feed dog, bobbin does not freely torn, too tight bobbin case spring. So the remedies. When winding the thread in the bobbin uniformly, change the needle, use good quality thread, lower the feed dog if the fabric is thin, raise the feed dog if the fabric is thick. Other remedies for lower thread breaks are check if bobbin is clogged, with dirt or thread, loosen the adjusting screw of the bobbin case or adjusting the tension of the upper thread. Next, machine trouble is the seams packer. So the cause is, is too long stitch length for the fabric. Then tension, maybe the tension is too tight or the size of the needle and thread do not match too high feed dog adjustment or too heavy pressure on the presser foot. So the remedies, adjust stitch regulator to correct length, adjust the upper and lower tension regulator, use appropriate size of needle and thread, adjust the height of the feed dog depending on the th thickness or thinness on, of the fabric and then listen pressure on the presser foot.
Next machine trouble is fabric does not move. So the causes of fabric that does not move are feed dog not in proper sewing position or stitch regulator not set on zero or maybe too tight pressure on the presser foot. So the remedies we have we need to adjust the feed dog to proper sewing position. Adjust stitch regulator to desired stitch length. Add pressure to presser foot by adjusting the pressure regulator screw. Then number 10 is fabric jumps in machine. So the causes of fabric jumps is maybe the needle may be too big or the throat plate. The remedies change the size of the needle and it needs round hole plate. Next is how to care the sewing machine. So how to clean and oil your sewing machine. So the face plate, the presser bar, the needle bar, thread take up lever, and the lifter. So first, unscrew face plate and keep it in the drawer while cleaning. Next, brush the dust away. Then put a little amount of oil while rotating the balance wheel so any parts can be accessed. And then put back the face plate in place. So note, the sewing machine should be cleaned regularly and every after finishing a large project by using a sewing machine or Next, the upper tension or the disc spring in dial. So we need to remove outer bolt, tension dial, disc, and disc spring. Then lay its part in your front table following its disassembling for easier assembling. Then brush, dust, and wipe with absorbent cloth with oil. Then, assemble by following the lead parts in your table. Next, the lower mechanism or the rot rotary oscillating hook. So first, remove the bobbin case. Fasten side of oscillating hook. Remove dust with lint brush. Put a little amount of machine oil in moving parts. Then, return spare parts in place. Okay, other, uh, other minor parts. So, remove the entangled threads between head and balance wheel. Brush accumulated dust in the threadle joints connecting the band wheel. Clean gummy dust on the band wheel. After all parts were dusted, lubricate all joints in oils, slots with good quality oil. Wipe off all surplus oil, then put a piece of absorbing cloth under the presser foot for dripping oil. So note, when the machine has thoroughly cleaned and oiled, run it slowly for several minutes to allow the oil work on its moving parts. Place a scrap of fabric under the presser foot and lower the needle to absorb excess oil. Okay, that's all for module 4 about machine operation and maintenance. Thank you and God bless everyone. Keep safe.